Hey y'all, what's up? We got the last in my little three-part quick series, the stuff I bought from Pokemon Center. This is a Tyranitar tin. This one came wrapped differently than the Giratina one, which kind of sketches me out. If it wasn't from Pokemon Center, I definitely think this was like repackaged because look at this. It's all it came, came with. And we can just slip that back on. And it's like, oh no, it's definitely, but you can go see what cards are in here. Put it back and like resell this on Amazon or something, you know, and just be like, oh no, it's brand new. He definitely didn't swap the packs out or anything. It is from Pokemon Center, so I mostly trust that they're not going to do that, but talk about crazy packaging. Don't have to cut it, don't have to do nothing, just bam. Old school sword and shield, it looks like. I bought three of these tins off Pokemon Center and wanted to, because they had the 151 tins, had eight of the 10 tins, and they were actually had missing two the Dragonite and the Gengar on sale so not well not on sale but for sale so sword and shield sword and shield darkness ablaze vivid we do have some old backs in this one guess we'll just go with darkness ablaze first I'm assuming all these are card tricked. Oh look, we got a crossfire. We look at him. No, it's not. That's like the fucking night one. That's just the new map for Halloween. Rickety, Mr. Mime. Oh, we got the Mew V. Mew is definitely an old school favorite. First pack hit. That's what's up. I'm just honestly trying to do this all in one cut, all these videos in one cut, so I don't have to edit them and blah, blah, blah. And I know it makes them a little rougher, but it saves a lot of time. It's so hard to edit videos. Not hard, but time consuming. Heroes Metal. Oh shit, Colossal v Max. Oh damn, two hits out of so that one. I accused it of being easily repackable and it's just it's getting huge hits. Okay. Colossal VMAX. I'll probably throw some edit. I'll, I'll edit this video just to see. I want to see how much that one's worth. And I know you guys are probably curious too. Not that I'll ever sell it. I don't open cards to sell them. Because that kind of... Yeah. I'm a collector. Random shit. I mean, look at my wall. My collection of metal posters. I probably have 60-ish posters that I swap around. Like, collecting stuff. Timber. Big Blade. Vivi Long. I wish my job was just to come up with names of Pokemon all day. I can do that.
course, half the shit now you can just do with AI. Just chat GPT, make me a new Pokemon. Be like, we can do that, but here's something similar because Pokemon's copyrighted. I think we got another hit in this. Oh, ball twice in. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a. Anchor anger. Demise. Gonna level with you? Also, didn't know that that was a real Pokemon. But. What a hit. Um, the last two videos, straight fucking duds, to be honest. We got one hit out of the last two vids, and now we're at three. You just never know with this shit. Shouldn't swear. In YouTube, but whatever. Trying not to as much. Crushing hammer and switch. Grabby, Goopy, Ray, who another Krabby, and a Dreadnought. Alright. Three nice hits, and then we got, so we got the promo code, card, of course. Tyranitar, Delmise. That's a clean card, that's extra blue, that would actually look sick in my blue Gyarados thing. The display that comes with the Gyarados packs. And of course Mew. That was a good good pack. Good hits. Sorry I accused you of being restocked. But like I said, I trust Pokemon Center of all places to a lot. At least not fuck around with the packs, but that'd be very easy to do if like an Amazon seller was messing with them. That's it for my little quick three-part series. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day and take care.